Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. Oh! Oli reikä rauta brown ja tapahtuma paikana oli Jackson Willie Town. All right. Oh, hello. <clears throat> Can I help you? I think I might be able to help you. My name's John Marston. I heard about your work through an old friend of mine, ha, Arthur ma, Morgan. Arthur on kertonut. He passed some time ago. Ah, uh -huh. oh, yes, of course I remember. Arthur, fine fellow. What a shame. Well, that is very kind of you, Mr. Marston. A little assistance here would certainly be appreciated. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligator? Well, only the basics. Avoid them whenever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> well, let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death roll. Yes, I mm. will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today. You stay there, you'll get a great shot, but then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get the boat. It'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. Well, you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yeah. 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest, there. That, that's probably where we should look. Okay, let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but... Not too close. I got it. One to go out. Last year, they brought ten thousand skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all day. Oh look. On that little beach, boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop gets butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Ah, she now. It's got it. Quick, quick! I must get this shot. Closer now. Closer. We caught him! In the middle of his dinner! This is history-making, truly. Nature, in all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you'd stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't! Okay! So, um, now it's southwest or due west. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer. Valitettavasti tämä taitaa olla ihan totta. Thankfully the state legislator put a stop. Paddle steamer, huh? Why didn't we think of that? Right. Right. There, in the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. A little closer, please. Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. <laughs> 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? No, this is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't a shame to this rowan fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big ones. <laughs> yes, yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah, could you 
you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. When we stop too long, the locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? <laughs> coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. But, maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh. That's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go, then. Get him and, uh, get him to notice you and then turn tail and rock. If I'm eating, I hope he eats you, too. Got some juicy fat human for you to eat. Come on, you big dozy lizard. Rouse yourself. Over here, boy. He's awake. Come on, Gator. I hope you're slow. Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without <coughs> you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Marston. Take us back to where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. <laughs> we hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving oh. killers is part of the... Take up. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop <clears throat> jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. <laughs> you sure do make me laugh the way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Uh, don't worry about it. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. And try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. Parasta ollakki muuten tulee syödyksi. Albert Cakes. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, <coughs> I just hang around here for fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> joking. I'm joking. Not gonna help you, friend. I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. 
Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique, pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. Cakes. You boys give me a minute. Oh. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This skin is about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. No deal, Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? More like a I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. <laughs> Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Um, Unless they take the guns, to mean they're carrying some Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No, wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So well, I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can conquer on the horses. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. Maybe, maybe. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Now, I was about to tell you, but I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People want... Uh, how you can handle it. Living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. 
That's uh real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. This is the spot. Just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like I said, Nils is a... an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. There he is, working away. Paljon nahkuja kyllä tällä. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. Sorry, help. Okay. Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like. What are you? Everyone, find some cover. Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. Uh huh. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. They got me. Help! Help me! Over here.
the tools. Now where's Mr. Uh -huh. Say on uh shit. Jesus. Do I call all that to character? We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. We are more lies here. Tää tuntuu niinku henkilökohtaiselta. Get out of here. Come on. Get us back to beaches. Oh, Skinner, brother. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. It was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Uh -huh. Uncle! Uncle! Uh -huh. Uncle! You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner well, somewhere brothers. Else. Lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. You pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. 
Well, I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Hmm. Yeah, that's a matipi. Don't try to be you. something you're not. Sorry. Well, now Morning. I've seen everything. I'm. I'm looking for my friend, and Gavin. For Gavin. Has he been gone long? Was he? Uh, yeah. A few years. A few bloody years. <laughs> I can't. Um, I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. Uh huh. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Gavin. Good luck. Gavin. Oh, I am oh, so worried. worried. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough. I I think. Can, I can How hard can it be? <laughs> But I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. <clears throat> I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Siitä se lähtee perustuksesta. Tähän patupassia ne käyttää varmaan pettä. Well, 
let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. <laughs> and you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> <laughs> Vaimo heittää toi ulos. My darling Abigail. I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool. And I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly. In an effort to impress you, and that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful. <laughs> Oh, in bad his apple. own fashion. No, yo. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Few days later, Uusi Jerusalemi. <köhön> Mikä on talvet tuolla? No se kumeen talo kyllä. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Yeah, that's a good thing. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? <laughs> no. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. 
We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Oh, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. <laughs> and sheep <laughs> But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? <laughs> we need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna I'm... farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I... But this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a <laughs> fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. <laughs> Tell them... And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. 